Hi everyone, it's Ashley and welcome to my channel, Her Homemaking Heart. For today's video, I am bringing you guys a new food bank haul. I know it's been a while since I posted one, but I know you guys really enjoy seeing them. And I just want to say, um, I know I have previously said I will not be posting them consistently, but if I do go, I will post. Even though I do hesitate sometimes on these videos, there are a lot of mixed reactions that I get. Some of them are not very nice. Some accusations and assumptions are not very nice, but um, I also don't want to allow people who are mean and bullies to dictate what kind of content I share on my channel and also the choices that I make in my life. Um, so I visit the food bank once a month because that is what I'm eligible to visit based on our income. Um, I understand that there may be people who don't agree with the, like who is allowed to visit the food bank and what income levels or whatever. Um, but with that being said, if you are able to visit the food bank, you have just as much a right as somebody who may be struggling more. And a lot of people here who visit them do happen to be addicts. And so um, if that, if it means that my children are receiving that help, um, then I can live with that, honestly. Um, so <laughs> I really hope that when you watch this video, it will be with the intention that you enjoy this type of content and not just so you can leave mean comments to me like that I need to get a job and all these other assumptions. I just want to say I also live in Ontario where it is really hard right now to get childcare. And so there are a lot of single income families because, um, you know, there's, there's just no after school care. There's no daycares. We don't all have relatives we can depend on. So please keep that in mind if you watch this video. And also the fact that nobody made you click this video, guys. If you're not interested in this type of, type of content, then you definitely don't have to watch. But this video is specifically for those who are interested in what you might receive at a food bank. They are all different, um, but this is what we receive at our food bank here in Ontario, Canada. So if you're interested, then keep watching. So here's everything we got at the food bank this month. So these are items that I'm actually giving away because I don't need any of this stuff. I have stuff in my freezer and it's just stuff that I don't really want. And so I'm going to give this bag of flour away, a bag of white rice, and a bag of lentils as well as this package of bacon so all of that is going to be given away I'm not keeping any of that so I am going to be keeping these items so I'm gonna show you guys so we have some of these chicken wings which I think will be really good in the air fryer they had juice this time and so we got a big thing of lemonade I was most excited for this Ferrero Rocher chocolate because those are my favorite. A carton of eggs. Um, I actually love when they have the big cartons because eggs are so expensive these days and so that will be a blessing and I actually just ran out of eggs so they have perfect timing. Um, some of these fruit cups for the girls for school lunches. A package of penny. I actually have a lot of pasta here, so I may give this one away as well. Um, some organic cocoa powder, which was really cool to find. Um, it is almost expired, so hopefully it'll still be fine, but it's closed, so I figure it'll be just fine. A package of these Annie's spirals with butter and Parmesan. I don't know if my kids will like those, but my oldest might, so. We got some of those. I usually never find the meat I actually eat at the food bank and I end up giving a lot away but I was pretty happy to find these uh, boneless skinless chicken breasts because those will definitely go to good use. We also got some more beef boulet, a small package of granola bar, 
um, one juice box, a package of beer paws, which I know the kids will like those. Uh, we got one Kleenex box, some of these crackers, which again will be nice for school snacks. Uh, they also gave me another package of granola bars. I think both of them are, actually these are not expired, but these ones I think are a few days expired. So we'll just use those first. Um, some Rice Krispies, so we'll make some Rice Krispies squares with those. The lady who did my uh, like food bank visit, she actually ran back in and grabbed me some of these because she forgot. She was definitely very sweet and trying to give me a lot of items, which I really appreciate. Uh, we have some of this garlic sauce. A can of solid tuna. I think this is a little different than the one I usually get because it is in broth and oil. So hopefully it is still yummy. One turnip. One box of these mint cookies. They kind of remind me of like the girl, girl guide cookies. So I thought those would be really yummy. One little cup of noodle. I'll probably send this with my oldest for school. Uh, they had a package of pads. So I had to grab some of those. Some red kidney beans whole peeled tomatoes. I prefer diced tomatoes, but I will just use these and like crush them up. And one can of corn. So that is everything that I got at the food bank this month. Once again, hopefully you guys, if you watch this, it's because you genuinely enjoy this content. And if you do, definitely hit that subscribe button. I will leave all other food bank hauls that I filmed linked in the description for you guys so you can check them out. And I also want to say if you are eligible to go to your food bank, by all means, I encourage you to look into that because for us, my food bank gives a lot of dry and frozen foods. And so it definitely helps to expand my budget for fresh food. And yeah, I just think, you know, if you are able to go, you have just as much a right as anybody else there. And I definitely don't want to let people's shameful comments hinder me from receiving that as a blessing just because it does help to stretch my budget or to provide other needs besides food you know such as prescriptions that cost money um clothing items for my children or for my husband and i other bills that come up you know there are so many other things that we have to pay for in this world so if we can receive a little bit of help with our grocery budget i definitely don't think anyone should feel badly for that and hopefully if you're leaving those kind of comments i just really ask that you would maybe consider keeping your personal opinions to yourself if they are just kind of mean um because again you don't pay my bills but when you do you definitely can determine my eligibility if you want um you know, or keep watching my videos because maybe someday I'll be monetized on YouTube and <laughs> that will bring in a little bit of extra income. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.